Stein the Bates. Angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? It sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Ah, uh, more cooch. Wanna be rock star without cooch. Deirdre Muller by R and I. Back in a second. Parent, teacher, associatician. <coughs> the motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Unless, wait, 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 wait. Open that money again. Alright, I was pressing A on them to see if I could open them more. Stepped on her hand, I'm sorry. Similar remote. For what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Belt. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Again. The size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? We finished. 11. No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Stop testing for semen, you and weirdo. Boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. This is brutal as shit. This mark, cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand, a wedding or engagement ring, violently removed. That looks like she was tied up. <coughs> that was at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. More missing jewelry, eh? Bitch should have shaved, if you ask me. Detective, R and I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. Have this wrapped up by lunch. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Burn. <laughs> Because there's a dead body. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You drive because it makes the LP a little bit quicker. There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? <laughs> but don't tell me your eyes don't bend. This conversation is over. Rusty guy's a dick. These parts got progressively more dicky. Second one was alright. The first one was like a 
preppy, not preppy, like a peppy sidekick guy, Robin in the fucking TV show, Batman and Robin, and this guy's a complete asshole. Phelps and Galloway, <coughs> LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. I shouldn't let people do that. Thank you. <laughs> Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? So many text messages. I'm so cool. I'm popular. We're going to have a look around. And by we, I mean me. You'll be back in I'm walking into your coffee table. <laughs> Fear me. Oh, yeah. Fear me. Not sure this means much. Well, can you read it? I'm going to examine the glass. Yes, sir. Not everything here is going to be relevant. <gasps> the spoon! <laughs> I do like Doesn't lemons. Well, yeah, it kind of tells you, like, who's combining carrots and lemons? This doesn't pertain to the case. Just like a, just a stew or a soup. Nothing really hardcore in here, huh? Oh, excellent, B. I thought I hit it. I can't really do anything with this. I rack it back and forth. Hello, money. Incidental. Open it. Read it. I thought it was a wallet or a purse of some sort. Don't be an eight, don't be an eight. Oh no. Work boots. Size eight. Wait, I should look at the other one. Yeah, okay. As it's two boots. Okay. Thought we were dealing with a three footed monster. Jewelry. <coughs> Missing. Again. No sign of a wedding ring. Again. Hmm, patterns and stuff. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Really gonna make me question a little kid. I'm not some cold hearted motherfucker. But didn't I do that already? No, nah, I was a young girl. That's different. Is this about mommy? Oh. Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Uh oh, he's crying. Try. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. I don't want to cry. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Oh, 
looks truthful to me. She looks sad because she just found her mom was dead. And did he come and get you? Of course. <laughs> Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. Neither is opening the door changers. around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. No, I picked the wrong thing. Sorry, I didn't want to question a little bit. Some of girl. your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Again, she just looks sad. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? <laughs> yes. A yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey, what? You? Daddy, the police are room here. Please, That's the dude from Daddy, Heroes. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of. Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? Looks like the what? dude from Heroes. The cop. But, but she only. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Lie. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? <laughs> he said that's so creepy. <laughs> Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Uh, because... That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. This eight and nine, not really a big difference, bro. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Motherfucking lie after lie. You a missing persons report this morning? <coughs> yeah, that's right. Uh... My wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around 9:30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Mm-hmm. Well, he's twitching a lot. Did your wife ever go out by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? Are you suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. 
Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. Again, he's twitching a lot. I don't have anything to prove that he's lying, so doubt that shit. What happened, Hugo? You got any theories? Because we're starting to like you for this. The car park by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped through there. Did you try the parking lot? Yeah. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. <coughs> that's not that's not true, god damn it. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a There's very There's so many lies idea, in there. Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Hello, detective. Well, let me run across this busy street without looking. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. Oh, no. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? And not screaming? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now, let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. <laughs> Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. 